Good day everybody, we got a beautiful question. Foremost, let me draw the circle. So having got the circle, we need a triangle. Okay, so this is the center. And this is A, B, C, and D, E, F. D, E, F. We've got tangents there. You are expected to find the following area. Now there is a, a line that is connecting the point of tangents. And there is also another line that is connecting point of tangency over here. Now we are expected to find the area of this region. Area of F B E D. That's a quadrilateral. Now we are given the following. This side is given 68 and this side is given 51. And we need this yellow region and this is 90 degrees so let's get the solution this is the solution so what is the first observation we observe that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle So, we apply the Pythagoras theorem. Now this means AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. AB squared is 68 squared. BC squared is 51 squared is equal to AC squared. So you take your calculator. 68 squared that's uh, 4624 51 squared that's 2601 plus 4624 so this is what you get 7 2 now you take the square root of 7 to 2, 5. What do you get? Therefore AC squared is root of 7 to 2, 5 which is equal to 85 units. Okay. The calculator comes in very much helpful. So 85 units, we have got 85 units. Now we see that there is a tangent at D and E. Two tangents are there. Right? So by two tangent theorem if two tangents are drawn from an external point to the circle then they are of equal length. This means CD is equal to CE. Also, you have two tangents here. BE is equal to BF. Also, there are two tangents here. AD is equal to AF. Now let me take, now let us take BF is equal to X units. So this means BE is equal to X units. So this means this entire length is 51. So this is going to be 51 minus X. 
if I take this as x, x this as x, this, this is going to be 51 minus x. So C E is going to be 51 minus x. So this means C D is equal to 51 minus x. So C D is 51 minus x. Also A F is equal to A D. So this means the center length is 68. So this is going to be 68 minus x. Right? So A F is equal to 68 minus x. This means A D will also be 68 minus x. So this will also be 68 minus x. But but A C is equal to 85. This means 85 is equal to this plus this. 68 minus x plus 51 minus x. So if you were to add these two things. So this will be 9 under 19 and you move 85 this side you move 2x to the negative 2x to the other side you get negative 2x is or I should say negative 2x will become positive 2x and from 119 you take away 85 that will be 4 and 8, 9, 10, 11, 34 so x is equal to 34 divided by 2 is equal to 17 right 2 divides here uh, 1 time you carry one seven, 17 so x is equal to 17 units you've got okay so x is equal to 17 units now this is going to come in very much handy right x is equal to 17 units so take a calculator 68 minus 17 51 units so that means this side is going to be 51 units and this side is going to be 51 units now that's going to be required so we've got that of course I can also get the value of these two sides so from 51 51 if I were to take away 17 what do I get 34 okay this side is 34 units this side is 34 units okay fair enough now there is one important thing we need to know what is that we need to know the angle of this so we need to get the theta now why am I trying to get theta? Theta is important. Either you can focus on this side or you can focus on this side. Okay. So for the time being, if I were to get the angle of theta, then I can get the area of this entire segment. Now if I get the area of this segment, will it be helpful in in me getting the area of this because from the total area of the triangle even if I take away this area then I need to take away this area so only then I need to get I would be getting this area so to get this area there are two ways to get this area I'm going to show you one way you can think about other ways and let me know so from the area of the triangle what I'm going to do I'm going to take away this area and I'm going to take away this area and that would give me this area so let me write that down here to get the yellow region area of the yellow region is equal to area of the triangle ABC from the area of the triangle I have to take away the area of ADF ADF and I have to take away the area of 
C D E. I gotta take away these two areas to get this. Of course, this is a simple question. It's not uh, too complicated. You can easily get that. So, what do we need to do now? We need to get the area of the triangle. We need to get the area of ADF and we need to get the area of CDE. So, let me start by getting the area of the triangle. So, let me use the space here. Okay. So, area of triangle ABC. So, what is the triangle ABC? You got the base. So half times base into height, right? So half times my base is 68, my height is 51. 2 divided by 3 times, 2 divided by 4 times, so 34 times 51. So you can use your calculator, 34 times 51, 1734. So that is 1734 square units so that's the first area the main the main triangle so now area of this triangle ADF ADF is equal to half times I'm going to use a B sine theta okay now this is going to come in handy this is going to come in handy now I'm taking this angle as theta right now this is a right triangle. Now what is sine theta here? Sine theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. If you were to take this side to be as theta. So my opposite side is what? My opposite side is 51 units divided by 85. This is my sine theta with theta lying over here. Fair enough. Now, this is going to be half times A into B, A and B, the, the two sides, the two sides that we are talking here. Now, remember, these two sides are isosceles. This is 51 units, this is 51 units. Right? So, they will have the same base angle. So, we don't need the base angle, but that, but the angle between these two sides, that is enough for us. So, the angle between the two sides is actually sin theta. Sin theta is 51 by 85. So, place 51 over 85 and the two like sides are 51 units, 51 units. Right? So, this is 51 units into 51 units. Right? So, if you were to take the net, this is going to be 51 times 51 times 51. So, let me take 51 to the power of 3. What do I get? I get 132651 divided by 85 times 2. So, 85 into 2. Let me calculate that. 5 2 is a 10, 1, 8 is a 170, 8 is a 16, 70, 170. So, this is 170. So, let me divide this by 170. So, okay, let me have it like that. Okay, so this is square units. Right? So, that is for this part. Now, let me, let me go to this part. Now, there is a theta here. Or alpha. There is an alpha here. Let me take that as an alpha. There is an alpha there. Now, I want to get the area of this particular triangle. So, for that, I need to get sine alpha. So, alpha is the angle here. Yeah? I need to get the sine alpha for this. So, in this case, sine alpha, what will be sine alpha? Yeah? Let me write that down. Sine alpha is equal to, this is the opposite side now, right? So, opposite side divided by hypotenuse, which is 85. So, this is what I get. Now, you can, probably you can reduce this if you want or you can just maintain that. So, let me go and place in the area of uh, this triangle. So, now area of CDF is equal to half times AB 
sin alpha. So half times. So what is the light side angle we have got? This is uh, 34 units, right? So 34 into 34 into 68 divided by 85. Now I can clearly reduce this. Two divides here three times. Two divides here four times. So this is going to be 34 cube divided by 85. So this is what I've got. Now what we have to do? We have to get this portion. We have to get this portion. This entire portion. So with that, from the total area, I subtract this. I subtract this. I would be left with this. So area of the yellow region. The parent triangle is one seven three four. From one seven three four, I need to subtract these two things. So let me add them out. One three two six five one divided by one seven zero. Added with thirty four cubed. What is thirty four cubed? Let me find that out. Thirty four cubed. Three nine. Three nine three zero four divided by eighty five. Now the LCM is one seventy, right? The LCM for this, if I were to take the LCM, okay. Let me first check it out. Of course, it will be one seventy because eighty five. If I were to take one seventy and divide by eighty five, I get two. So the LCM is one seventy. So one three two six five one five one added with I got to multiply this by two times. What is that? Three nine three zero four multiplied with two. That would give me seven eight six zero eight, and over here it's one seven three four. So. To this, I'm adding one, three, two, six, five, one, and I divide by one seven zero. So I'm getting a value. This is the value I'm getting: one two four two seven. So we need to. Place that. So this is going to be one seven three four minus one two four two seven divided by ten. Now it's divided by ten, right? So I can place a decimal point here. So that would mean I now have one seven three four minus one two four two point seven. So let me just subtract that one seven three four one seven three four minus one two four two point seven. So four nine one three divided by ten point ten. So this is approximately four nine one point three square units. So that's the answer. So this is a this is a lovely question. This is a lovely question, and what we have done, we have extracted the area of uh, this yellow region. So make sure to see the next question. I am deducing another question from this result, and uh, please see that and uh, leave your comments. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your day.